Hey, welcome to a very special um, edition of uh, my reviews, where today I'm actually going to be talking about Ex Machina. Um, these are the, the trades, volume 1 through 10, and it's... Well, let's let's just get into this. Um, so yeah, this whole series is written by uh, Brian K. Vaughn, and for the most part, it's drawn by Tony Harris. I'd say for the most part because an issue here or there, um, you would get a different artist, but um, it doesn't happen very often. I think it actually only happened in three or four issues out of all fifty. Um, so yeah, uh, Ex Machina is about um, Mitchell Hundred, who is the Great Machine, and he gets his powers through this explosion. That Hold on a second. It's an explosion that gives him his powers, and his he has the ability to talk to any machine. Um, they talk to him. And he's able to talk to them. He's able to control them, tell them what to do, and yeah, that's that's about him. And so this role takes place post 9/11, which I'm pretty sure everyone knows. If you're um, interested in this comic, I, um, everyone knows. It's the very first issue reveal. And um, Mitchell Hundred is actually mayor of New York City, and the reason he's the mayor, or so what we get from it, is because he was he wasn't able to save both towers, but he stopped the second plane from hitting the second tower. So now instead of having the twin towers at the World Trade Center, it's just a single tower. And um, so yeah. Um, this series is very interesting. At first I was a little reluctant to pick it up because it's so, I don't know, it's it's so political in some ways and um, it's not all about, you know, superheroes. This is actually set in a very real world and um, it, it, it's, it, it's just, it's great. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm so glad that I picked it up and I followed it through all throughout. Um, so yeah, uh, Brian K. Vaughn, he is terrific. He's a writer of um, Why the Last Man, which I haven't read yet, but I will too. I will get to it eventually. But um, he does a terrific, terrific, terrific job with just every character, and every scenario, and. <laughs> All 50 issues had me on the edge of my seat. Um, there's never a time where I felt like I wanted to stop reading this. <laughs> but I had to because, you know, I had to wait for the next trade or whatever. But, um, but yeah. He puts um, each character in very um, interesting situations, actually. And the way each character develops uh, is just so fun to, to watch each character progress and what happens to everyone and um, to see characters reactions and this is set in a very realistic world whereas I don't know it felt like as I was reading this I felt like this is how people would react if they had someone with superpowers um, for their mayor. Uh, not everyone loves him, uh, and that's just how it is, and that's just how I imagine it would be in real life. Um, so yeah, the artwork is done by Tony Harris, and it's, it's amazing. Let me just show you. I could turn to literally any page, and it's the pencils, all the colors, and everything. It's just it just looks amazing, 
and um, it's just so so well done like the whole package is so well put together and it's so it's so entertaining and it's really it's a page turn and that's what you want from a comic um, you want something that's gonna motivate you to keep reading and um, just about <laughs> anywhere you, you could never ex um, expect what's next to come um, just about from every turn of the page you would you're surprised throughout the whole series and um, I think that's really hard to do to keep the series fresh and um, to keep readers coming back to see what's gonna happen um, I, I definitely was hooked from the very first book and um, I wish there was more, but unfortunately, um, the series finished with issue 50. Um, now, what would I give this? <laughs> I would have to go with a perfect, a perfect score. I would give this 5 out of 5. It's just that good, the whole series all together. Um, I think one of the best things about each... Um, graphic novel, each trade, each volume, is that you could pick it up and read it as a standalone um, trade, and um, you would still understand everything that goes on, um, you would still get a complete story, and you would still love it, um, even if you don't want to read the overall, um, every trade, but um, it also is great that once you get to that final page of the final issue, everything is wrapped up. So everything does tie in together, but you can also read it as a, each book by itself without having to actually continue if you don't want to, and you would still get it. I think that's really good because um, it, it, it's just, I don't know, I, I, I can't explain it, but uh, I, I thought that was really well done in that in that manner and I would really recommend this I if I don't know I it, it's left me speechless it's just that good um, Brian K. Vaughn's um, writing is perfect each character is distinct each character has their own voice and um, each character has their own look thanks to Tony Harris and it's just it's entertaining, it's a good read, it's um, it's perfect. So, if you haven't read this yet, I really recommend it. Um, if you're kind of um, started reading this, but you don't know if you want to continue, trust me, everything gets better. And let me just say, once I got to that final page, and I, 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 once you get to that final page, I literally got chills. It was, I don't know, it was the perfect way to wrap the entire series. Um, although, I did feel like um, there's a possibility for a volume two of Ex Machina, but um, I highly doubt it because it was done so well, wrapped, so, wrapped up so well. Um, there's room, but um, I really hope it doesn't happen because this was so good. Um, so yeah, I'm not saying that if there was a continuation, I wouldn't pick it up. I would definitely pick it up if it's by the same team. But it doesn't feel like it, but then there's room for more. So yeah. <laughs> Either way, I, I hope it doesn't continue, but, um, yeah, pick this up, it was, a uh, it was great, it was definitely one of the best things I've read, ever, um, it was amazing, so, give it a try, that's Ex Machina, um, 
overall, all 50 issues, 5 out of 5. Um, if you're into superheroes, if you're into politics, if you're into um, interesting characters, if you're into well-told stories, you'll love this. Um, so, I, I, I know I did. And I was reluctant at first to pick this up, so give it a try. You won't be disappointed. And if you are, let me know. Let me know what you thought about the book, if you've read it. And, um, yeah, it's, it was amazing. Give it a try.